Hey guys, so this is my steering intermediate shaft out of my 2007 Toyota Tacoma. This one here is actually just like an Amazon knockoff version, but this is probably the second or third one I put in my truck of these. And each time what happens is these U-joints develop a ton of play in them and it's super annoying. I mean, you can feel it in your steering wheel, the constant play and you know, back and forth going down the highway. So what I'm actually doing is I'm replacing this U-joint here with this All Balls U-joint. I'll zoom in so you can get the part number. This is what it looks like. So this one here is actually for, I believe it is for Kawasaki Bayou, and it's actually greasable too, so which is a bonus. Toyota doesn't offer replacement U-joints. They only sell you this, you know, complete intermediate shaft. So if you take a look at how this U-joint set up on here, you can see that it has those, like, how are they, metal, like the metal stamped right there along the edges. And that what that does is that helps hold the U-joint in place so you're not getting, you know, any movement out of that U-joint that you don't want. So what I did Ideally, you'd probably want to use a vise, but I ended up using this C-clamp here and a couple sockets. So what I ended up doing was I put this socket on this side. That way, it would catch this cap as I push it through. And with this socket here, I put on this side. It fits inside there, and what it does is it pushes this U-joint all the way through to this side. So once I did that, it was a little tough being, for the first one, I had to push through those, you know, those metal stamps to help keep this cap in place. And eventually I got it out far enough that I could grab it with vice grips and just rip it out the rest of the way. So then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna push this end back through to this side. And I actually, I used a, uh, a small file that I had and I tried to file those down to create them smooth without you know damaging or scarring the rest of this so I just filed those down smooth so that way this cap will be easier to push out so I'm gonna do that now and see how that goes so I now have this cap pushed out I it gives me a little bit of a lip there and what I'm gonna end up doing is getting some you know, pliers or vice grips grab onto this and pull this out the rest of the way. That way I can separate these two pieces. So I finally got the part here and essentially what I had to do was those like retaining stamps, I really had to push through them. So it was kind of a hassle and it did smooth them over pretty good whenever I was pushing out the new caps. But what I'm gonna do, you know, to ensure not to damage these going in I'm gonna grab this file, and what I'm gonna do is just file those down and just create them smooth. Cause you can see on this one, it's still, you know, it's still sticking out a little bit. So I definitely want to make this as clean as possible to ensure I'm not gonna damage this new, the new U joint and the caps going in here. But before I do that, I have this side to do, and once again, what I'm gonna do is just to get it started. Put this socket on that side, the other, the larger socket on this side, and I'm gonna tighten that C clamp down to push the U joint as far as I can this way, and then I'll just pull this cap out with some vice grips. So I'm gonna try to film this part. It's definitely kind of hard. If I had a vice, this would make it a lot easier. But I'll show you as I'm tightening this. Let's see. You can see it starting to push this cap in and in turn what that's going to do is push this cap here out and inside this socket and how this is designed being this is not meant to be replaced actually if you push this u-joint all the way this way it act the u-joint hits this edge here so it won't actually push the cap the rest of the way out so you do have to you know kind of fiddle around with it to get the cap out the rest of the way. So now as you can see, I have this U-joint pressed up against this side 
pretty much as far as it'll go. And you know, that's as far as that cap's gonna wanna come out. So what I'm gonna have to do is grab onto this with some vice grips and just yank it out the rest of the way. So I finally got that old U-joint out of there. And what I actually ended up finding after taking these files, trying to file down these little, you know, stamps, I found this step bit and it actually just fit in there perfectly. It was just enough just to shear off any of that, you know, additional metal that was in the way. But I just did it, I just ran it through, had to be super careful just because I don't want to score any of that metal in there that that new cap is going to be riding on on its way in. So one thing in my case, there were like some casting marks or mold marks or whatever around this edge that was kind of creating a lip. What I ended up doing is I just filed those down real lightly. I didn't go too crazy with it, but I just want to make sure that once this new U-joint goes in, that these C-clips here will have enough room. And actually, if you if you take a look, let me try to get it in the light. I mean, I think that's gonna work out almost perfect. Like, so those, those C-clips will just rest on this inside edge here. And hopefully it works out. What I'll do is I'll push this one in and I'll see what it does. So I got this half pressed in here. And now I'm just gonna see if these C-clips will fit in those ridges. This side's super tight. That side it should fit in. I'll see if I can at least get this side on, maybe press it in a little bit more. Like put this side on, press it in a little bit more this way just to tighten this up and see if I can fit that other C-clip in there. All right, so I got both of those clips in there. Honestly, I'm actually super surprised. Like you would, being this is a quad part and it fits pretty much perfectly in there. I mean, I find that absolutely insane. I was a little skeptical about how this was gonna work out, but this U-joint's in there. It's not too tight and there's, you know, zero play so far. So now I just gotta get on, get on the rest of it and we'll go from there. So I finally got this all finished up. Have that grease fitting in there. It doesn't look like I'm gonna have any clearance issues. And honestly, this is absolutely amazing that, you know, this part out of a quad fits in there so perfectly. Now, I don't know how long this is gonna hold up. I would assume that being this is, I'm assuming it's for a drive shaft or something on a quad. So it should, you know, in theory, it should hold up a lot longer than, you know, the cheesy U-joint that comes in there. And hopefully this helps anyone who wants to try it out. I will be trying it. I'll just have to keep an eye on it. Being, you know, this isn't really this U-joint's intended use. It's one of those things where, you know, maybe every oil change or whatever, I'll take a look at it, see how it's holding up, stuff like that. But, I mean, for the time being, I think this part was only like 19 maybe $20. And, you know, that saves you from buying, I mean, this whole thing from Amazon was like 60 bucks, but I mean, I was blowing through those stock U-joints that came in there. Nothing is protecting this, so it is exposed to the elements all the time, and I think that's, you know, one of the main flaws with this joint in the steering shaft is, you know, it's exposed to road salt, water, stuff like that all the time, and, you know, being it's not serviceable, it's just, you know, one of those things where you do have to end up replacing this whole shaft. It I don't want to hold any liability or anything like that if, you know, you end up doing this and it ends up failing or something. But what I'm going to do is I'll end up throwing this intermediate shaft back on. And, you know, I'm definitely going to keep an eye on it. If you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a like and even consider subscribing to my channel.
I'll be making more uh, Tacoma related videos in the future and uh, possibly even videotaping some of my other projects I have going on. But uh, I definitely hope this can you know, help some of you guys out and I'll see you next time.